Hello, my name is Robert Russo and I'm a rheumatologist at BJC Health. And today I'm going to ask our physiotherapist, Rachel Puddleworth, who has expertise in ankylosing spondylitis, to take us through the chest expansion test, which is used in the assessment of ankylosing spondylitis. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Rob. So I'm going to go through the chest expansion test. The first thing we have to do is find the fourth intercostal space. And the way to do that is to find the first and second rib space and then come down until you're on the fourth intercostal space. The patient then has to get their hands up on their head, making sure you still stay on that fourth intercostal space. We get a tape measure. Come around the patient. And you need to hold quite firm and measure what that is. Fully expirate, so all the way out, and then full breath in, and all the way out again, and all the way in, and all the way out, and take that measure. The best measure of two tries, making sure that you're not restricting the patient by holding the tape too tight. Hi Rachel, thank you very much for demonstrating the chest expansion test which is used in the assessment of ankylosing spondylitis. So Rachel, how do you determine if the test you measure is abnormal? So what we look at, if we use the example of Errol just then, his measure was 5 centimetres. If we look at his normal or average values for him for age and for gender, we would expect 6.5 centimetres. Now, a restriction is noted if it's two and a half centimetres below the expected average. So he still fits within normal. Well, thank you very much, Rachel, for demonstrating the chest expansion test.